Lauren Dressy here, hanging out in the tiny desert outpost of Shoshone, California, population 31. This place really is in the middle of nowhere. It's at the crossroads of the highway to Baker, California, and the highway to Pahrump, Nevada. And depending on which way you're coming from, it's the last place to get gas before you head into Death Valley. Yikes! Back in the day, Shoshone was a crossroads for all the miners in the Death Valley area. I think they were mostly mining talc and Epsom salts. It was founded back in 1910 by this Mormon settler named Ralph Fairbanks, but everybody called him Dad because when he first came here, the local Indians heard his kids calling him Dad, and they assumed that was his name, so they called him Dad, and before you know it, Everybody called him Dad Fairbanks. One of his daughters ended up marrying a local miner named Charles Brown, who eventually became a state senator and was pretty successful. I mean, not only is a store named after him, but this highway is actually named after him. It's called the Charlie Brown Highway from Baker to Shoshone. And their descendants still own the town of Shoshone. And they're actually doing a lot to preserve the history here and keep it alive. You can learn a lot about the history of this place at the Shoshone Museum. They have a bunch of really cool old mining equipment and even a set of woolly mammoth bones that they found out at Tacopa Lake, just a few miles from here. But aside from historical stuff, it's still an actual town with its own post office and its own clinic. and a little convenience store that sells groceries, snacks, souvenirs, and even lottery tickets. We're in California, but we're just across the state line from Nevada. And believe it or not, as if there weren't enough ways to piss your money away gambling in Nevada, there's a lot of people from Vegas and Pahrump that will come out here just to buy lotto tickets when there's a big Powerball jackpot or something like that. There's also this super cool old time bar and restaurant called the Crow Bar. I've eaten there a bunch of times and food's okay for the middle of nowhere, but it's all about the atmosphere, especially over on the saloon side. It's pretty cool. And when it's not 150 degrees, they even have this outdoor stage where you can sit out under the beautiful desert stars, watch some live music, and have an ice cold beer. There's even a payphone booth. When's the last time you saw one of these? The number you have dialed. There's even a high school out here. Wow, I mean, can you imagine going to high school in Death Valley and your football team was the Death Valley Scorpions? <laughs> I guess kids from all over the area have to be bussed in here. Look, you can see from this signpost here that we really are in the middle of nowhere. 81 miles from Vegas, only 27 miles from Pahrump, but 2,600 miles from New York, Seoul, Korea, Badwater, Death Valley, St. Petersburg, Mount Everest, Butte, Montana, only 922 miles west, right next door. Oh, and look at that, 6,000 miles to Ushuaia, Chile. <laughs> I think they mean Chile, the country. They spelled it wrong. I'm staying here at the Shoshone Inn. It's newly remodeled, really nice rooms, and a pretty good Wi-Fi signal. And there's a swimming pool filled with natural warm spring water. We're not all that far away from the town of Tacopa, which has a bunch of hot springs. If you ever watched my Tacopa video, you'll know what I mean. So this is all coming from the same source, I guess. And this entire pool is about body temperature, maybe 95-ish degrees. It's super nice on a hot day like today. Whee! And they have a tortoise pen with some adorable desert tortoise living here. I guess they're all hanging out in their burrow now because it's the heat of the day. But they have a pretty large enclosure to wander around in here. And they even have this cool old historic fireplace to play in. And they get very well fed a couple times a day. But they ask you not to feed them because they're trying to keep them on a natural diet. 
I was out here this morning though and I got some footage of them crawling around before it got hot, so enjoy this B-roll. But if you'd rather camp, there's also this strangely lush oasis-like campground here. And it's busy in the winter, but this time of year, I mean, it's August 12th and it's something like 150 degrees out today. Remember, we're right outside Death Valley and it is hot. Okay, actually, I think the average temperature here in July, August is more like 105, but that's still pretty hot to camp in. Incidentally, if you're wondering why it's so relatively green and lush here, I mean, there was that big grassy lawn at the campground and at the high school. Well, I think Shoshone is on top of the Amargosa River, or it's part of the Amargosa River watershed. So it really is kind of a little oasis in the desert. And there's some kind of underground aquifer that allows them to grow those lawns and plant these trees and enjoy that nice warm spring swimming pool. Anyway, there's a ton of interesting stuff to explore here, from old abandoned buildings and cars to the mines and ghost towns and hot springs in the area. I even heard where some of the Manson family, you know, Charles Manson and his family, used to hang out around here. I wish they talked about that in the museum. But one of the most interesting things to explore out here is a place called Dublin Gulch. Dublin Gulch is basically this series of cave dwellings that were dug out into the side of this cliff by broke miners who didn't have enough money to build real cabins. But actually, some of these cliff dwellings or cave dwellings aren't really that bad. I mean, you can see here they got like a real wooden door. It's all locked up now, so you can't go in. But we can peek through this window. Holy wowzers, yikes. <laughs> Home sweet home! Look, here's another one. Let's see what's in this one. Wow, wait, can you imagine? I think these guys built these starting in like the 1920s. But believe it or not, there were people still living here until 1970. Look, up top there's even chimneys in these places. They had fireplaces. I mean, look, check this out. You can actually see one in this cave dwelling. Wow, that was his old hearth, his old fireplace, where he cooked up his beans. Put another log on the fire. Cook me up some bacon and some beans. Yeehaw! Oh, wow, and then there's this spooky tunnel. I don't know if this goes to one of the cabins or what, but we should go in and find out. Going into this spooky tunnel. There's no telling how far it'll go back. I do have my flashlight. Oh, no need for a flashlight. Doesn't go back very far at all, but still pretty cool. Look at the texture on the ceiling and the walls. Wow, what a trip. I don't know. I think these are, these are clay cliffs. It's some kind of clay that they dug out. So interesting. I mean, this is a pretty nice sized chamber back here. Plenty of room for your, your bed, your table, your little cook setup. You know, just the important things. But there's no chimney or anything in here, so I don't think you could have a fire. I don't really feel like this could have been a dwelling. I don't know what it was. Interesting, though. And then look over here. This one was so fancy, it even had a garage. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think that's what this was. Look at it. Doesn't that look like a garage? I mean, if you think about it, miners here in the 20s, 30s, 40s, they had cars. And this is just the right size to park a Model T Ford with room to spare at the end for a couple of religious figures or something. I'm not sure what the little alcove are for. Uh, maybe that's where they kept their tools. Either way, we are so spoiled nowadays with our air conditioning and indoor plumbing and electricity. I mean, can you imagine living out here in Death Valley in a cave? I mean, it is a few degrees cooler in here than it is outside, but not much. These people were hardcore. You know what I mean? <laughs> Indoor plumbing my foot. They had to use this creepy outhouse. Someone even built what's called the castle in clay here. Wow, what a trip. Guy's name was Harvey Rutledge. 
And I bet he was a super cool guy. I mean, look how cool this is. Built right into the side of this cliff. Even has a little chimney up here and a window. Let's look in the window. Wow, we look at that. I mean, it's just like a regular house with different rooms, plenty of light, open concept floor plan. I could be pretty comfortable here. Anyway, Shoshone is only about 90 minutes from Las Vegas. So if you're into Old West history or you just want to buy a lottery ticket, you should come check it out sometime. It's a really cool place.